Mexico here tonight. I mean, you are Mexico, yeah. right? We are. Well, are we? Well, Mexico is, Q is in fact a quadruped, but I, <laughs> I, am, I am a member of Mexico. Now you have to look in the camera and tell us what a quadruped is. A quadruped, a four-legged animal that. But it would be around. eight legs, right? A quadruped. Oh yeah. I'm, well, look, I'm Australian. I don't know these. Things, you know, like we don't have fridges down there yet. You know, refrigerators or. That's right. I mean. You know, but do you have cable television? No. No way. No that. No. But you have Max Q. Yes. And you Max gentlemen Q. are Max Q. Yeah, us well, and a bunch of other people. Five other people. Mm. Yes. Five other and people. And an orchestra. Yeah. And an orchestra. And an orchestra. Mm. Mm. And a few backup singers. Yeah. And a few engineers. It's but the core opera. is seven people, basically. The core. Yeah, the, the core. core. <laughs> the, yeah, the hard core. Yeah. That's a big core. Yeah, it is. I mean, like Sam and Dave probably have really like big nine apple. people. <laughs> <laughs> big core, big apple, I like that. Yeah, bad joke. Yeah, yeah. okay, sorry. Mm. Now, the first video we're going to see tonight is from The Cure. Do you have any thoughts about The Cure? Uh, you can say anything. Well, I've always uh, thought that the medical problem, the problem with the society, uh, medical things in society is they always treat the cause rather than... <laughs> they always go for the... Treat, try to treat the effect of the disease rather than the cause. So we're after sort of a more holographic type of music here? Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's it. Yeah, hyper-reality. How about you, Michael? Any cure thoughts? Uh, yeah, he's pretty messy with his makeup. Okay. Here's a man who's messy with his makeup. That's Michael, that's Ollie, this is Tim, this is the cure. It's Modern MTV. This is Ollie. This is Michael from Max Q. Um, it's us. Now, what did you what did you think of Michael before you before you ever met him? What image in your mind did you have of Michael? <laughs> he's like he's gone. You know, that's it. I mean, that says it all, really. No, I mean honestly, if somebody had, when I'm you're like, asking my autograph, remember? Yeah. <laughs> well, that was from my cousin. All right. But I mean, <laughs> no, no, sorry, Michael. But I mean, I really, in all honesty, I mean, because you know, I come from a fairly different musical background, one could say, and all that sort of thing. And I was very curious to meet him and all that sort of business because <laughs> I'd never had much to do with people who were um, popular mm -hmm. music stars and all that kind of stuff. Is that what he is? Yes, oh. apparently. <laughs> yes. And uh, <laughs> apparently. But yeah, it was. Uh, you know, I, I honestly would never have thought I would have worked with him, but... Yeah, it's true. Yeah. I mean, if somebody had come to me and said, oh, you know, in two years you're going to be making a record with Michael Hutchins, <laughs> I would have come. <laughs> you've got to be kidding. <laughs> 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 you, know, you know, come on, you know. Hey, same goes for me, buster. <laughs> okay, well, it's your turn. What did, what did you think of Ollie? What did you uh, heard about Ollie? Yeah, I know. I, I didn't hear that much, you know, because he's not a pop star. You don't get to see him on cover of magazines, you know. Well, it's like somebody said, like... Uh, um, somebody said in a magazine in Australia that this, this record was by the Australia's biggest mm. pop star and Australia's least popular rock <laughs> personality. Person. <laughs> in general. <laughs> least yeah. popular in general, yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. No, I, th I think, uh, you know, I mean, I heard, I heard of his, I heard of a few of his bands, I knew about his past, and I knew that he was trying to do something uh, musically that I hadn't got anywhere near, that's for sure. Something that was keeping him off the cover of magazines. Something that was keeping him off the cover of magazines, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and on the back pages of other, other magazines. We're going to see a video now from another Michael. Uh, it's from R.E.M., it's called The One I Love. Do you mm. like R.E.M., are they big in Australia? Or anywhere you they're, they're, they're big in Australia, aren't they? Well, I've worked in records for the last couple of years and I sold a lot of REM records. People did like them. They were very obsessive fans, too. Like, yeah. They're very uh, devoted to everything REM, you know, REM key fobs and, you know... Hats, golf all that sort of stuff. They're, 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 really, they're a very big cult band in Australia. All right, here it is, a big cult band, probably all over the world, REM with The One I Love on Postmodern MTV. And that was us. And you, uh, yeah, and you won sometimes. <laughs> That's it, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just practicing for a robot. <laughs> practicing TV speak. Yes. And after the break, a video from the singing body surfer. <laughs> Nelson, Michael Hutchins, Postmodern MTV. It is. Thank you for coming down tonight. What, we, did, what we didn't talk about was, how did you guys get together? How did Max Hugh come about? Well, it uh, started when I got the job as a musical director for this film, Dogs in Space, that was made by Richard Lowenstein, who has shot a lot of the In Excess videos, and Michael yeah. was the star in that film. Thank you. He's well, a very star. big he's star. A star. He's the a star. glorious star, star. star. the shining you know, cosmic star. Let's get it right. And, yeah. 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 <laughs> um, and we met through that. He did actually did one of my songs, yeah. a tune called Rooms to the Memory, which is a very ancient ditty written by myself when I was a 
a young wee sprog, a young person. <laughs> and then yeah. what happened? Uh, then, uh, four years then later. Four years later, he became an even bigger rock star and I got even hungrier. <laughs> and I, I went... I went and I this, thought, is this is the, perfect. This is the truth. <laughs> and I went after the In Excess finished their last yeah. show in Melbourne, I went up to Michael and said, hey, how are you going? Got, got a tape, got a pretty hot tape. And I played in this... <laughs> and I played in this tape and he said, oh, yeah, yeah, I like it, I like it. <laughs> and so... We got, yeah, we got together. He got a passport. And then he, yeah, yeah, he flew me to America. I think I've been here before and we be like, not here. America. And now Max Q. And now yeah. Max Q. We're going to see a video from Midnight Oil, another Australian band. And you said something about body surfing? Yeah, he used to be a... I think that's why he's got a shaven head, because he used to be a body surfer, well, a champion body surfer. I thought he was a lawyer. And that too, it's a, you know... You never trust a body surfer. You never trust a guy in the water with a briefcase. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> paying off sharks, you know. <laughs> you That's why in the music business, is paying off sharks. It's Are they friends of yours? Yeah, we know. I don't know. Yeah, you don't, you've had arguments with Oh, Peter. I had an argument. I had a big fight with him, yeah. That's, big, yeah. That's, that's, like, that's how Way of the World was uh, written, almost, inspired by an argument with Peter Garrett. <laughs> kind of, yeah, you know, I had a big sort of argument with him about yeah, politics, basically. They're I, good I band. won, good band. Course. Good band. I have a good band. All right, this is Midnight Oil with Beds Are Burning on Postmodern MTV. Midnight Oil, Beds Are Burning, Michael Hutchins, Ollie Olsen, Tim Summer. It's been wonderful to have you here tonight. You are coming back tomorrow, right? Yeah, yes. absolutely. Yes. And you know what we're going to see tomorrow? We're going to see Deborah Harry. We're going to be Sonic. We're going to see Sonic Youth. We're going to see In Excess. And we're going to see you guys. All right. So we'll see you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. And thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow night at 12.30. Sweet dreams. On Postmodern MTV. <laughs> this is Postmodern MTV. My name is Tim Summer. Thank you very much for staying up late. And we're going to make it worth your while because we've got Ollie Olsen and Michael Hutchins from Max Q on the show with us tonight. That's true. Greetings. Now, the Max Q album, you play a lot of guitar on it. Is that right? <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> Now you're laughing. No, no, I don't. I don't play. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. There is. Is there? No. No, there's not. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> On the demos, I did. Yes, well, yes. Well, we, don't, we didn't hear the demos, man. Oh, we'll put them out next year. <laughs> <laughs> so who plays what? Uh, I don't know. Everybody oh, else, we don't play anything. No, I, I did a lot of the keyboards. You did have the keyboards, yeah. yeah. The, the, the um, basic line up is me and Gus. Gus Till, who's a sort of person with an alien squid on his head sucking his brains out. In other words, he's got dreadlocks. Um, he, uh, he plays keyboards, I play keyboards. John Murphy on percussion, mm. Arnie Hanna on guitar, Michael Sheridan on guitar, he's also in my band now. Uh, Bill McDonald on bass, he's also in my band now. And that's it. And then we had uh, you didn't orchestra. Anything, you didn't say anything about him. What's his, uh, what's uh, his he, name? Uh, what did you, uh, he sing? Oh. Yeah, yeah, I sing. Here's another, another person who's famous for singing, Deborah Harry. She's great. Now, she used to be in Blondie. This is a song called I Want That Man. Any thoughts on that? Any thoughts on Deborah or Blondie? Um, or I, I used to love man. Blondie when I was a youthful punk rocker. I was very fond of them. I, I saw them many years ago in Australia, and they were great. Live band. I, yeah, good one. I yeah. haven't heard this song. Well, it's sort of a return to what she's doing in Blondie. Really? This is Deborah Harry with I Want That Man. Postmodern MTV, this is Ollie, this is Michael from Max Q. Yeah, now, like, if people were thinking that you were going to do this project, Michael, that yeah. was to the way to the left, this alternative mm -hmm. way to the left adventurous project from In Excess, mm. it doesn't like quite sound like that, though. It's not. No, like it's more commercial than In Excess in many places, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. That's his fault. That's because yeah, he wants so to be a big I wanted, rock star. No, I wanted to make a commercial you know, record. <laughs> I mean, it's like. No, we did want to. Yeah, we did. Because I, you know. Really, you know, well, we wanted to, make, we wanted to make something <laughs> accessible but good. Yeah, you know, it's just good pop music. That's all. Is there, there's a pop star beating in that heart, in that punk rocker uh, heart. No, well, he he thinks so. I mean, no, not really. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I'm really cut out for being a pop star. No, nah, you, you know. just want fame. No, I just like the idea of being it sneaky. Fame. I'm into being very sneaky. Famous and I really like, you know, like the implications of having hit records with lyrics that aren't necessarily deemed mm. normal in the, in the pop. pop world. So, I think it's just sort of vaguely subversive. Well, one would hope so, anyway. So that's sort of where the edge in Max Q comes from. Uh, I think also in mm. also, also uh, in the fact that the, the album is a very eclectic record in terms of musical influences and the sorts of things like we've got everything from like 
you know, like it's like one track I could describe, a track called Concrete I'll describe as Leonard Cohen meets Robin Gristle meets, uh, <laughs> meets Barry White. Uh, you know, like a yeah, very bizarre you know, kind of crossover. Meets. Yeah. Meets us. Yeah. And we all had a lovely party. <laughs> yes. Lovely. Right there in the center. Now we're going to yeah. get back to that. But right now we're going to see a video. This camper van Beethoven, mm -hmm. a band from a place that was just hit by an earthquake. Yeah. San Jose mm -hmm. or Santa Cruz, actually. I'm not sure exactly Santa where Cruz. they're from, either San Jose or Santa Cruz. Uh, do you like camper? Have you heard them? Yeah, I like yeah. them. I, I really like the record they did with Eugene Chadbourne. I thought that was, I really liked that. Camper Van Chadbourne, yeah. 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 All right, this is Pictures of Matchstick Men from Camper Van Beethoven on Postmodern That's MTV. I'm just going to get my hair right. Uh, hey, after this break on Postmodern MTV, a little something from this group called In Excess. <laughs> Now we're going to have an in excess video. This is called Listen Like These and watch for this one in it. Hey. Hey, hey. I was an extra, okay. 90 you know. bucks a day. What 90 bucks a I day. Got my, I got fed. <laughs> you know. Got a meal. Didn't have to go to work. That was no. when I was a bricklayer on the council. I know, I know. That's when the guy from Crowded House was working in the art well, from, from, when Nick, Nick, was Nick doing, Seymour, Nick Seymour yeah. was doing uh, all the backgrounds and production and stuff. It was great. And, yes, and he kept spewing smoke into my face, and I've never forgiven him for it. Oh, he didn't have any well, ammunition? Fact, well, yeah, well, you know, I'll, I'll keep getting him back. Yeah, we'll get him back. Yeah. Here we go. With, with Sonic Youth, say, so watch it. <laughs> MTV, Michael, Ollie, Tim. Well, these guys are Max Q. I'm just the host. Mm, just. I don't know about that, but you've been telling me. He used <laughs> yeah, to play as Glenn Branker. Oh, yeah. I did. <laughs> I'm impressed. Now, Thanks. speaking of Glenn Branker, we're going to see a video in a little while by a band called Sonic Youth. Mm. Yeah. They're big in Australia? Yeah, well, mm. like they, I actually uh, played with them, with my band, No, in Australia, and uh, they really went down like really well. They were mm. fantastic. I mean, I've been a fan of them for years, and uh, they're very popular. They're, uh, a friend of mine actually releases their records in Australia and stuff, and uh, yeah, they're doing really well there. I think they went down great, great live band. They're fantastic. Now we were talking a little bit before about the lyrical edge to yeah. Max Q. Mm -hmm. Now, do you write the lyrics and Michael sings them, or is Michael contributing to the lyrics as well? Yeah, majority, so, majority. Of my, well, you wrote uh, well, Soul Engine. He wrote completely everything. There's a couple that we actually everything. collaborated lyrically on. Yeah, it was good. We could, you know. What do you think of this? What, you know, association. Mm. What does that make you think of? Yeah. Write different lines up. Yeah. Is that way different than the way you work with NXS? Or? Yeah, you just write everything. And Andrew writes some lyrics as well, occasionally. Yeah. And how about with No? Well, I usually write all the lyrics for No. I usually write, just actually write everything for yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, <laughs> Write the lot, you know. Yeah. So. That's easy, though. Yeah. <laughs> It's time for another video, and it's a good one. It's from Sonic Youth. Yes, yeah. great group. Uh, great group. They're very good. They're one of my favorite groups in America. All right, we're all big fans of theirs. This is Sonic Youth, and this is Postmodern MTV. This is Michael. This is Ali. You have been watching Postmodern MTV. You're also going to tune in tomorrow night because we are going to see we're going to see the Red Hot Chili Peppers. We're going to have Michael and Ali are going to come back. Yes. 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 So, yes. We want to come back. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that's See it. Then. See you tomorrow night at 12.30 Eastern and Pacific Time, 11.30 Central, for more Postmodern MTV yes. with these guys. Hey, Olsen. Uh, Olsen, this is Michael Hutchins, and you're watching Postmodern MTV. My name's Tim. Welcome back to Postmodern MTV. Tonight, once again, Ollie Olson, Michael Hutchins, the gentleman from Max Q. That's right. Now, he's the gentleman. <laughs> and what are you? I'm the scumbag. No, he's a straight guy. I'm the scumbag. <laughs> Good act. Yeah. Now, when I listen to the Max Q record, it's like I hear this real sort of like cool, like 70s thing. 
Mm. But not like 70s in like the Ramon sense, like 70s in like the Barry no, White sense. Disco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've both got a bit of a thing about Barry White. I've, I mean, yeah, way I, back. I was seriously into the Ramones and Barry White at the same time. That's the problem. That's what, that's the, that's what this album sounds like. <laughs> it's kind of, yeah, I mean, it's true though. It's a, it was a funny decade for music, you know. So, I mean, I really like stuff like. A lot of things like that, you know, like the Superfly soundtrack, mm. and Barry White's album, some of that stuff Shaft. like Zach Hayes did, you know, um, well, you know, Billy Paul, things like that. There's some, I just really like the arra string arrangements and stuff like that on a lot of those records and just the mood, like the real soul thing. Mm. And I think like, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a real tendency now, like especially in house music with bands like Ten City and uh, uh, producers like Marshall Jefferson are bring, mm. really working on that because it's a great feel. It's, it's bigger. Yeah. It's not as simple. Really it's not as simple. tippity tappity. It's big. We're going to get right back to that. Right now, we're going to see a video. It's from a band called The Alarm. A lot of silence there. This one's called Slow Me Down the River. It's from The Alarm on Postmodern MTV. We're on. On. This is uh, The Clash. Is London Calling, a very nostalgic tune for yeah. me, and one I like a lot. Very good, very good. Very Ten nice. points. Ten very points. Yes. This is uh, Michael and Ollie, and we have a Max Q clip on the way. Yeah, don't go anywhere or I'll kill myself and I'll come and haunt you. <laughs> <laughs> Right, this is uh, Max Q's Way of the World, shot partly in New York because we were. Well, no, Richard, uh, Actually, film director wanted to be... A free trip to New York, <laughs> that's why we did it. <laughs> yeah. Let's be honest. Yeah. Go. Yes. And the Red Hot Chili Peppers with... Can you read that? Uh, I, I can't read it, but I can imagine what it says. It says something like, make Stevie Wonder proud after the break. That's right. <laughs> Gentlemen, well, we went through this gentleman Yeah, we went through that. We're not gentlemen, all right? Yeah. But whoever they are, they're from Max Q. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes. We're going to hear a song that was originally written by Stevie Wonder, another mm. gentleman from the 70s. Yes, mm. very wonderful gentleman, too. I mm. like a lot of his tunes. Brilliant. Especially Living in the City, that was one of my favourites. How about Higher Ground? Higher Ground's a great trek. And I think Red Hot Chili Peppers. Ebony and Ivory. <laughs> <laughs> So many of them. Now, the Red Hot Chili Peppers version of Ebony and Ivory, that's a... No. <laughs> yeah. No, actually, I like the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Actually, they're great. I think they're a really good group. Good, good life. Man. You're in luck, because we're going to see a Red Hot Chili Peppers video right now good here on great. Postmodern MTV. <laughs> Let's watch it. Modern MTV, you gentlemen, oh, I said it again. <laughs> now, you've been here for three shows now. That. Thank you so much for coming down. Thank you. What's in the awesome. future for Max Q? Oh, well, Mega Rec, we're going to be bigger than Thriller, isn't it? That's right. Well, see, yeah. I wanted to call the album Driller. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, he didn't think that was such a good idea. Yeah. But, I, you know, <laughs> I'm a Friday 13th fan. And, you know, all oh, that yeah, sort of thing. Friday, but, but, yes, I mean, basically, I really want to get plus, you know, I want to look like Donald Duck and stuff, <laughs> so I need a lot of money, you know, to reconstruct that. Is that what he's done with his money, do you think? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Jim Morrison, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it'll come back. We'll come back. We'll do something. You know, make yes, it. we'll make another record. We will play live because we, all my friends and I do, <laughs> just up to old wacker here. You yeah, know? I can afford them. Are, either, <laughs> are, the, are either of your individual bands, either No or In Excess, going to do Max Cute Material? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Not no, I mean, you know. That wouldn't work. No, it's um, the, the crossover between hip hop, thresh metal, uh, industrial and music. And Armageddon. Armageddon <laughs> and various other things. Oh, I mean, we're things. in totally hardcore, extremo band. We are the future. Cyborg. Yes. So they're going to be more Max Q records? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Maybe. for sure. We're definitely going to write more songs together. We're going to write more songs at some stage, so. Yeah. We'll see. So when you flew, when you flew him, this is what everyone wants to know. Like he mm. said, you flew him over to America for the mm. first time. Did you fly him first class? No way. <laughs> I don't fly first class. Yeah. 
<laughs> now that we've answered that important question, I'd like to thank Ali and Michael very, very much for coming and joining us here for three shows on Postmodern MTV. Thank you. It's a pleasure. It's a thank pleasure, you. yeah. Best of luck in the future. Thanks. Tomorrow night, we will count down the top ten Postmodern videos of the week, so you don't have to be here from that. That would be real work. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow night at 12.30 Eastern and Pacific Time with more Postmodern MTV. We're here tonight. I mean, you are Max Q, right? We are. Well, are we? Well, Max Q is, Q is in fact a quadruped, but I'm, <laughs> I, am, I am a member of Max Q. Now you have to look in the camera and tell us what a quadruped is. A quadruped, a four-legged animal. That but it would be eight around. legs, right? A quadruped. Oh, yeah. I'm, well, look, I'm Australian. I don't know these things. You know, like, <laughs>